Yeah. Blake McCann called me. To talk about what? Just a chat between friends. Where were you last night between 9 and 1 a.m., Mr. Ferguson? Why? Because he was murdered by an arsonist he was hunting. Well, that's a real shame. An arsonist not unlike yourself. As a matter of fact, one of his final acts was to write down your name. Not because I killed him. It must have been the fandom. I don't know his real name. I didn't know about him at all. Blake told me. He called me. Asked me to meet him in some deli in the village. He was all stalled up about catching this phantom guy. He asked for my help, and I said I'd give it to him. Even though he put you in prison? Blake paid me for my time. Plus, uh, he let me see some photos of the fires. <laughs> so we both got something out of the deal. And what other wisdom did you offer him? Any idiot can slosh gas around and light a match. But this guy, he knew fire, knew how it spread. See, buildings are just like people. There's a weak spot, a soft underbelly. He would find it, use it, unleash an inferno with barely any accelerant. That is an artist. So how did any of this help McCann? I gave him some tips. I told him he was looking for someone who cases buildings carefully. Visits them a few times before he strikes. What else? An artist like the Phantom, he wants to admire his work. It's not enough that he sets the fire. He needs to feel the heat to listen to the music. Roar the flames, the moans of the buildings as they give in. That's what he lives for. Which is why, with every fire he sets, he is there watching. 